never have seen Where life is eternal and evergreen A future of happiness all in your hands All in this place of your dreams Here inside Neverland It's time for an awfully big adventure. The national tour of the Broadway.com Audience Choice Award winning musical Finding Neverland will fly across the country beginning this fall. We're here at the show's rehearsal room in New York City to meet the cast and get a magical sneak peek. Tell me, how excited are you to take Finding Neverland across the country? I kind of am very excited. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little embarrassed that I should get paid for this one because it's, it's really fun. I love the music. I love the choreography. It's brilliant. You know better than anybody. You can't tell the story about the creation of Peter Pan without a ton of magic. What is some of the enchantment that awaits for people when they come to see this show? The enchantment in Finding Neverland is about the imagination. It's not techno-driven. It's about human beings and their sense of play and uh, what happens when you release your imagination. You have something for everyone. There's a spectacle, there's magic, there's that element, and then there's also just a beautiful, simple story of friendship and love and family. Everything is very simple, but in that simplicity, there's this great magic. And the best magic is always the stuff that's the simplest. So for now, it is just an illusion, confusion, unless you're someone who believes. When you look, tell me what do you see? And he's, he's dancing, dancing and prancing and bowing politely. He plays the full houses once daily, twice nightly. <laughs> Prefix ordinary with extra, extra you'll see. Believe, believe, believe. <laughs> How great are the songs in this show? The music is so approachable, it's so great, it's um, it's so fun to sing. Sort of toe-tapping, you know, British pop sound that keeps our show cooking in a way that makes it feel very alive today, even though it's set in 1903, and I love that contrast. You have a visionary director in Diane Paulus, and I feel like the show is just permission for your inner child to have a ball for a couple of hours. Would you describe it that way? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, because all of my scenes basically are with the children, I'm just instantly brought into that world and have this relationship with them that's that actually translates to the audience that, you know, we're a family. And it's it's so easy to do that with this show and with Diane. She's so great with the kids. It's very raw and very, it's very powerful. Like, it just feels different than it did on Broadway. It just feels more more honest. It's, it's really cool. It's always fun to do a, a, a show about a show, you know, to play theater people. That's always really fun, you know, the, the sort of inside humor and um, a kind of uh, permission for a kind of theatricality. It's not quite so awkward when you burst into song. Coward! Oh, boo! Nobody wants to play with me and my wife has left me. Oh, woe is me! Whoa. What kind of night do you hope theater goers across the country have when they come to see Finding Neverland, the tour? It's better than Cats, they'll come again and again. Sorry people like Cats. If you're looking for a date night, this is your show. If you're looking for a family night, this is your show. It's got so many things that uh, that everybody can, can take something from. And kids love it. I, I sit there and I watch kids on the edge of their seat and then I see older people and, and teenagers crying and weeping and laughing and dancing and celebrating. So you go through a, a, a very large gamut of emotions throughout the show. And it sends you out after an evening of theater feeling renewed and encouraged to seize your life 
and live it fully. And I think that's a message we can never stop hearing. We'll be